Hello, fellow survivors, and welcome back to another episode of Nogoa. Let's see how we do today. So, we are on day, well, day four, but three days. We'll go by calendar. We're on day four, and I need to get to the dam. So, the idea is to go there now, but via the Lake Overlook Cave to see if there's a storm lantern or some such. Now, before I go, though, let's do a little bit of inventory management. I think we'll go downstairs for that. Let's also see how things are looking with the curing. Curing is going well. Uh, I would break down things like this for wood, but it takes too many calories and I don't have much food. Now, let's see here. Uh, I don't need to bring this, or probably not even this, because one of them is, is fire, the other one I can read later. So we'll just leave this uh, uh, well, not here, I guess. <coughs> let's see what else. Uh, I can make two of these so that I have two hats, but these are going to be replaced pretty fast. So I don't really want to use the cloth for that. So I'm going to pass on that. These needs to be harvested to repair this. But again, I'm not going to carry that around, so we'll leave them here for now. And do that later. We got a lot of water, that's good. We don't need the tools right now. Uh, I guess you don't need three sewing kits, but they don't really weigh anything, so that's fine. And we don't need the feathers, but they also don't weigh anything. So we'll leave these things behind. Okay, so now we need to do what we need to do is <clears throat> we're gonna go to Lake Overlook Cave, see if we can find something there, and then head to the dam via the river. Let's see. By the way, if my voice sounds different in this video. I've been talking a lot and lecturing a lot lately, so it might be slightly raspy, but I hope it's still okay. Let me see, how many with wood? Nine coal and some stuff. Eleven, oh, okay. This looks good, so let's do that. It's not warm yet, so the warmest part of the day is uh, the afternoon. So when the sun hits the center of the, of the arc, then the day starts getting progressively warmer and the afternoon is the warmest so in many ways it's actually best to go outside in this challenge when it's in the afternoon because otherwise it's just going to be too cold uh, but we don't really have that much food for that luxury I will try and do it but it's not necessarily possible Okay, let's see, having some FPS issues there. There we are. I think there was a corpse here. I don't know if I looted this. Okay, we might need to start running because it's going to get cold. Oh, it's being a bit slow. Come on, computer. We found nothing, but there's some feathers there. And let's see. I think I'm going to try and make my way up to ASAP. We can make a fire. At the top, this is how you get up to Lake Overlook Cave. You can also climb the ropes. We're not going to do that though. We might actually have to make a fire before we even get there because it is so cold. Let's hope we don't get sprains. It is just draining so fast. There is sometimes a carcass up here, so I was hoping to maybe. Uh, light a fire by the carcass. I don't know if that's possible though. I'm starving. Let's see if I can make it. I might have to use the accelerant for this to avoid taking any kind of damage. Let's see. Let's quickly have a look up here to see if there is. Oof. Astrid. If there is a carcass here. There is, so let's do that. Let's light a fire quick to avoid taking damage. Oh, I don't have an accelerant. Oh, damn. Well, then we just have to hope I can start a fire. Oh, I wasn't thinking. I was rushing it. My mistake. I should have lit a torch and then started the fire, not use a match. So that was a mistake. If we're getting cold, we'll probably take 1% damage doing this. I'm so cold. I'm... There we go. Warming up rapidly. Let's see if we take any damage. 
Take we lost one percent. Let's see if we can avoid take yeah, okay. We lost one percent damage. One percent health, that's okay. Let's uh warm up. Grab the feathers. <coughs> Let's see how much meat it's got. I got some meat on it, that's good. We'll start by harvesting that. And do it in half kilos. Do I have anything? I have mushrooms to prepare. Okay. Let's make half. We need the teas for this. So do one percent damage. I can I can live with that. I didn't expect to take any damage to be honest going up to that. But here we are. That's it. That's how brutal this is. It's walking from the camp office to up here. It's just it's too cold. Let's put that in there. Oh, I got cooking level two. Fantastic. That's good news. Uh, I'll try and grab the hide, but I might leave it here if that's the case. I'm not too worried about wolves finding me up here. Now we have double crows, circling crows, and atmospheric crows. Mm. Oh, sun's coming out, how oh, nice. More feathers. Feathers will often spawn as you harvest the carcass. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, so go two teas. Water's fine, we're gonna get more water soon too. Let's do this. 16 minutes. I wouldn't say no to harvesting this other stuff, but before I do, I'm gonna check quickly here. Oh, there's a rabbit. I would like this rabbit if I can. Get him after. Let's see in here. Oh, it does. It looks like we have a storm lantern. That's fantastic. Uh, books, archery, drink. Yeah, storm lantern. That's great. Let's see if I can grab this rabbit here. Here the rabbit. Here it is. It's being a bit awkward. Man, I could eat anything. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, oh dang. Let's try one more time. Ugh. It's such an awkward terrain for the rabbit. Let's go back up here and warm up. And we can catch the rabbit after. Four minutes. Let's eat that. Okay, um, more feathers. I am going to try and harvest this. This is really, it's worth it for the crafting for later. I'm gonna leave it in this cave though. And then I need these as well. It's gonna take an, another hour, which is not great, but we will try. I don't think a wolf is likely to come up here. Alright, so we got more hide. That's great. Let's keep moving though. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this rabbit one more time. If it's back. Nice, all the way down there. That's alright, while well, he moves, I can place the hide down. And I think I'm just going to cure it in here. And 
Here we are, let's secure it in here. Put a note for myself that I am curing it in here. Hide and guts in Overlook Cave. Alright, let's see if we can grab this rabbit again. It's not a biggie. But I would like to get the rabbit. It should make its way up here. Look at this rabbit. Let's try one more time. It's, the, the train is very awkward for catching the rabbit, but. Oh my god. <coughs> no. Oh, come on. That would have been something. Let's see if I can use this fire if it's uh, if it's burned out or not or what. It is burned out. Okay, well, that's all right though. I'm giving up on this rabbit, I think, because he's just the train is so awkward to hit him. You see, even veterans like me will sometimes just miss everything, and I can't be asked to spend more time chasing this rabbit now. Okay, see, now it's not as cold as it was. So now it's a little bit easier to traverse. But we can make our way to the dam now and start looting that. <clears throat> On the way there, we'll check if there's saplings and hopefully get some cattails on the way. Probably gonna get a sprain. Because we're gonna take a little shortcut. Gonna go down this way. This way leads down to the river. And we avoid all the wolves on the left. I'm taking getting quite cold. So it's down here. There's a shortcut down. Shouldn't take any fall damage, but we could get a sprain, which is exactly what happened. And we maybe have to make another fire. Let's see. Okay, here we are. That's not so cold. And see if we can get all the way to the dam. I don't know if we can without warming up, but we'll see. There is another deer hide, uh, sorry, deer carcass in this area next to Alan's cave. And we should maybe have gone there just because there's uh, roll sips there too, but there's also two wolves there. That's the wolves. Let's see. I'm trying to stay warm here. There's no wind, but you still get cover by doing this, which is weird. Actually, right now it's not working anymore. Mm, need some first aid soon. All right, give me one second. I'm just going to check something. All right. <clears throat> I need to make a fire. I just want to see first if there are saplings here. And there are no saplings. That's alright, we'll make a fire here so I can harvest these things. And we need to come up, be fast. Don't want to get cold. I only took 1% damage earlier, but 1% is still 1%, and then the next one is another 1%, on, and so on. And before you know it, you lost a lot. So it's all about keeping it on top the entire time. And this is one of the main reasons why I normally don't play uh, no Goa. Just because, uh, let's see, did we take any more damage? No, we didn't, we avoided it. Just because it's so restrictive in how you move. On Interloper, if you get a little cold, take a little cold damage, eh, so be it. You'll just heal up when you sleep, no biggie. Here it's lost forever. So that make, makes it very punishing to get cold especially. And that makes it, to me, usually 
less enjoyable because you have to stay on top of everything. Some people like that because it forces them to balance on a knife edge the entire time. And, you know, that's fine. If you enjoy that, then that's great. Uh, I do appreciate the challenge of doing this sort of difficulty. But it, to me, if I'm going to be completely honest, it partially breaks the immersion for me. Because in real life, if I got really cold, you know, I would recover even if it's slowly. And it's, it's a little too brutal. I think a more enjoyable version of this challenge would be the exact same settings as it is now, but you put recovery to low uh, during uh, s sleep and or wake. So for example, maybe you can only heal passively 1% at a time while you're awake, which is how dead world works. Um, but you can't heal during sleep. That would make it slightly more feasible, I, I think, and more enjoyable. Okay, is there anything I need to do here? Um, how much to repair this? Probably going to find something to prove it though. Okay, um, water-wise is okay. I'm going to put these down for warmth, although I don't really need to. In fact, this is what I forgot about when I left. I forgot to heat these up. So we're going to just do that. Grab a torch. And let's go. <coughs> Ended up not harvesting the stuff I was going to anyway. So let's see. I want to get some cattails here. So we do have moose markings. So let's see if the moose is out. So this is what I was talking about in the previous video. And I explain it to you again. So you see on this tree up ahead here we have moose markings. The brown part of the tree. That means that this is the spawn for the moose here in Mystery Lake. So the moose will at some point spawn here on the ice. But it can also spawn on in Trapper's Cabin. Because, as I explained, Trapper's Cabin is an uh, exception. It's a unique spawn where you can get a moose even though it spawns somewhere else. And as you saw in the previous video, the moose was there. And if it's up there right now, the moose here by the dam will not be there. But if I kill that moose, there probably will be one here by the dam. And vice versa. So you can have two moose in the same region here in Misty Lake. Just not up at the same time. Now since it's quite warm, I decided to go check this out. It's a clear day, it's warm, there's nothing really around. I just wanted to see if there's anything here that I could use. Probably not though, no. There usually isn't anything there. On lower difficulties, you can find it, something inside there, usually food or a book or something. Uh, on this difficulty, an interloper, I rarely even check. There's not much in there. But we gotta check everything. Okay, so now we know the two moose spawns from Mystery Lake, which is great. Once we have the bow going, we'll be following up on that. Right now, though, I wanna take advantage of this warm weather and stay outside to uh, get some cattails, as many cattails as I can. There's going to be less cattails than you find on Interloper. But there'll still be some. And since it's so, you know, clear weather, we can get as many as we want. At least for a little while. This is really, really good food. Nice and light. I think I saw one over here. Okay, the sun has gone. We're gonna go inside soon. It's still gonna stay warm though for a couple of hours. So we are good. <clears throat> Let me get all of these cattails. There might also be a deer carcass. Uh, usually the deer carcass here by the dam is one in two places. It's either inside the dam itself, beyond the fence, or it's inside, uh, sorry, up here on the bridge. 
I didn't hear any crows earlier when I was walking around, so I think it's actually inside the dam. But I'll go up here and check anyway. Let's chain some torches. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit colder. I might have to go inside and warm up soon. But the torch makes me a little bit warmer and have more maneuverability. Over here under this bridge, right in front of me, there is also a campfire. Uh, that many people don't know about, but there usually is nothing there. That's the campfire. Yeah. But there's nothing to it. On low difficulties, maybe you can find it. I don't think that campfire has always been there, at least when I started playing this game years ago, I don't remember seeing it there. Let's see, are there any cattails at all here? Yes, there's one. I don't think there's any more down there. <coughs> let's see, okay, let's see if there is a carcass up here. Then we'll loot the trailers. And the dam. We might have to sleep though before we loot the dam. We'll see. Let's see how we, <coughs> Let's see how we get on. Okay. Uh, no corpse, no carcass. Okay. Oh, wind's picking up too. Then it's going to be inside the fence, most likely. I have had it happen that neither of them spawn. But it doesn't matter. Uh, sorry, it doesn't matter. But it's not often. Alright, there's usually a wolf patrolling here, but I didn't see it earlier when I was looking for it. So I don't know if it's around. I can't hear it. We're gonna loot all of this stuff. You can check sometimes in the in the back of trucks. You can find tools. You usually won't find the tools on interloper and stuff, though. You'll find them on lower difficulties. Look at that fire in the distance. Okay, all of these mushrooms again. It's pretty much just for warmth. We're getting these. We're not getting them for any. Kind of a medicinal reason. Uh, also, it will level cooking, making all these teas, which is another bonus. Cooking will give us more calories as we level it up, because the food we make has will have more calories in it. Oh, now this might blow out. Oh, it just blew out. Oops. That's right. We'll go inside and light the lantern instead. <laughs> it's not the first time I've made that mistake. It's the problem when you narrate a lot, like how I do. You get kind of absorbed in what you're talking about. We try and make things as um, informative for the viewer as possible, and you get sort of temporary tunnel vision. Okay, I'm going to grab this book for fuel. This is always there, but we don't need it. Might sleep in the next trailer. This also I think is always there, at least I've never not found it there. Uh, there usually isn't much else here. Right. Let's go to the other side. Hopefully we won't get cold crossing. I think we'll lose the dam later because we do need to warm up a bit. Oh, that's cold. I think we will make it without getting cold, though. Without taking damage, rather. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. Also, I was... Uh... Oh, no, I did take 1%. Oof. Just crossing that. Uh, also, this Storm Lantern is a great find. Uh, it's got full tank, which is fantastic. So I've taken 2% damage just doing this, which is frustrating. Oh well. I didn't think I was going to take 1% damage there, considering I was only cold for like 2 seconds. 
in retrospect, I could have waited a little bit in there. And then crossed. You see, the margins are so small in this difficulty. You really, you really... Uh, there's a tiny error and then it's, it's done. Okay, we need to actually sleep a little bit to regain both stamina and some warmth. So let's... Um, oh, I could have heated these up as well. Hmm. Well, we're going to eat these for starters. Uh, I want to get to tw 12, it's fine. Let's have a drink and we'll sleep a little bit. I don't know if we'll sleep until fully rested. Let's see. Uh, it's barely... Barely warm, but it is warm. I'm going to sleep in increments just to make sure I don't get cold. Which I don't think I should here indoors. It shouldn't change, but still... I want to make sure. I think I would like to get as rested as possible. At the very least, wait this blizzard out and see if we can get the carcass on the other side. I can keep going. Another two hours is fine. When the blizzard ends, I'll probably go outside. Keep going. I think I need a drink now. This has ended. Okay. Let's drink. Ain't drink. Sorry, eat some of these. Let's eat uh, two more. We'll have a drink and we'll go into the dam. If there is a deer carcass, I'll probably harvest it now, seeing as it's available. Okay, let's see here. It's going to be cold, probably. <laughs> All right, let's see here. It is very cold. Close that. Is there a deer carcass? <clears throat> it should be over here if there is one. It doesn't look like there is one today unless it's somewhere else. Okay, then I guess there isn't one. It may have despawned. Alright, let's loot uh, the dam. Let's hope so. <laughs> that an aurora doesn't hit. Because if there's an aurora, it makes the dam very difficult to traverse. Alright. I would say Norway is pretty cool. Oh, someone followed me uh, while I was <laughs> recording this. Uh, Thank you. Who was that? Uh, Silvery Frost. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna loot the entire dam. All the drawers. If I'm lucky, I'll find a air wrap in here. Oh, coffee. In handy. That's warmth and energy. That's really, really good. And we're gonna do everything. So we already have the tools we want, but we need saplings and just better gear would would help. So let's start looting. I am a little bit miffed that the oh, the sound keeps going in and out for me. I'm not sure. Sorry if it's like that for you too. It sounds like it's kind of buggy or something. Let me just see if it's actually me. No, it's not on my end. It might be a bug. Oh, wow, the computer's doing alright. Oh. I'm not going to walk around with two of these, so let's just drop the pry bar here. Let's keep looting. I don't think there's anything. Loot the entire dam. Should just use the other pry bar, really. <laughs> this building 
takes the longest to loot, I would say, of anything in the game. <coughs> it is uh, just so big. It is really big. We got water. How much water have we got? Uh, we can take this, I guess. Mm, we don't need that. Alright, let's go upstairs. Uh, there are no guaranteed matches here, but uh, you can find them randomly in a drawer. And there is one location where there often uh, are matches, but no, it's, it's in the lower down. If an aurora hits, I'm going to probably leave or sleep right away. I'm actually getting cold because this isn't giving me enough warmth. So I'm really hoping I can find some clothing that can warm me up. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start a fire by the fire barrel. Uh, or go outside. At the moment though, it's only minus two, so I'm very slowly getting cold. So I think we'll be alright. There's very often a downs vest or something like that in the little office downstairs. We'll check that out. When you loot an interloper, there's hardly any loot to begin with. On this difficulty, it's even less. So, we're not going to find a lot. But we're going to look. We're going to check every inch of this place. Be it a trash can or a locker. Everything matters. We want food, we want clothing, we want matches. Uh, at the end we also want scrap metal. I made some minor mistakes in this episode. Oh, nice. Uh, lost 2% health. Couldn't hit that damn rabbit <laughs> at all. I gave up on that. <laughs> that. That's okay. But as you can see, this difficulty is... The margins are so thin that a tiny mistake will cost you. We're done up here. Let's check the little side office. I'll check this. Yeah, I did. And let's check here. There's often some clothing here. Uh, not today, though. We could repair some clothes as well, but I would like to have more food to do that so that I can use the time to repair. It would help. I don't know how much... The problem is food. Where you don't really have the time to stop and repair, is the thing. Not cold yet, though. And we can make a... Fire downstairs. Let's do it here also. Bandage would be good. Kit this is even better, I guess. And we want the safe. Uh, I'm not going to pick up this book, I don't think. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Mm, tools. We don't need that though. Pick it up for later. Alright, let's pick this, open this. Hopefully there's an air wrap inside. Uh, 35 or something like that? Let's see. Thirty-seven, okay. Uh forty-six, thirty-seven, forty-six. At this point I might as well do slow.
We'll make Astrid the safe cracker. Gosh, they're really far apart, these numbers. Well, as long as that happens, that's regression to the mean. Let's see. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> wow. Let's see what's inside. Oh, well, that's good. Low condition, but it's good. Might make a fire down here to warm up a bit. And also get some torches going. But I also want to go to Winding River to get the maple there. And there's probably two carcasses, one or two carcasses. I think I am going to make a fire here to cook some stuff and start heating up. So let's do that. We got six matches and a flare left. That's fine. We're going to get more matches eventually. We just we just happen to be in a region that doesn't have them guaranteed is all. But we'll get more matches. No worried about that. Come on, little fire. Come on. Come on, little fire. All right, uh, let's put on. We don't need put coal on this. So we'll put some sticks on. And let's cook some coffee. And also this. While we look around. minutes to see here. As long as there's tools here, but we, we already found the tools, so we don't need that. Sometimes there's stuff back here, although I've never really found anything. A bit worried about these cables in case an aurora hits, but uh, there shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Right, I'm gonna wait for this to cook, and then I'll put another one on, and then I'll loot the upstairs. Take that, take that, take that, cook the rest. And now I can loot upstairs. We can warm by the uh, barrel after. So sometimes there is a fire striker up here. It's not very common, but I have found it on Interloper before. I'll show you where it is. And we should find a flare up there. Usually there's a flare uh, at the end of this uh, row here. But there's usually a corpse as well. There's the corpse. I don't think there is a flare today. No. If you ever do like a challenge like Voyager or Hopeless Rescue or something, you'll pretty much always find a flame there. Let's see. The Fire Striker can be over here in this corner here. Sometimes there's a box here. Uh, today we have nothing, nothing at all. But sometimes there's a box here and sometimes there's a Fire Striker there. It's not very common, but it does happen. Sometimes it's worth checking just over here, but there's never really anything there. Alright, let's, uh... Let's, uh, warm up a bit. How much am I warming up? Barely anything. I'll put some more sticks on. Just to warm up a bit more. We can make another coffee. Um half a litre of water, why not? And let's see, we could maybe repair something while we heat up, I suppose. Let's harvest this. 
I'm a little bit worried about this maple, but I think I, sh I should eat it now because even if this gave me food poisoning, I could then uh, drink this and just sleep and we'll be alright, most likely. So let's eat it. Oh, we got food poisoning. Oof. Alright, we're gonna do that. We need to recover and sleep. <coughs> sleep now to get rid of this. I'm gonna start by sleeping an hour here. Uh, if that's the case, we'll do this. Doesn't really matter. If that thing uh, burns. Oof, the sound is really glitching out. Oh wow. We do have an Aurora. Okay. If that's the case, then I'm going to continue sleeping here until this is done. But also, as you have food poisoning, the condition drains really, really fast. Which is not great. And you can see I already lost 2% because of it. So I'm going to sleep another hour. I'm going to continue doing this to get rid of the food poisoning. We don't really have a choice because it's going to drain our health if we don't sleep. Let's see. It's minus 5. This does not warm us up well enough, which is a big problem. Okay. Um, minus 5, really? It's that cold. I think we might have to go back to the trailers. The only problem is we have an Aurora going. Okay, this is a, quite the predicament. In that case, I need to actually make another fire. Otherwise, I'm just going to start losing health. Because the thing is that now that you have food poisoning, I have cured it. But you need to recover, you need to sleep for it to go away. And if I don't do that, I will still take damage. And I need to avoid that. So we need to stay warm. We need to just sleep through this at the very least until the aurora is oh, gone. Yeah. That's a good one. So we're gonna put one of these on and then sleep probably two hours, I guess. And then we need to go and sleep in the trailers, I would think. Because we really need to get rid of this food poisoning right away. Uh, health is draining rapidly. But hopefully we can get out of this. Okay, it's still going. I don't think I should be taking any... I am still losing health, as you can see. Uh, so I need to keep doing this. I think we need to actually use coal. Sleep another hour. And then I think we need to actually go outside and sleep in the bed because it's the only way to be warm. So we're going to do that. We don't have a roar anymore. So let's go outside quick to avoid taking too much damage. Well, right now it's plus one, but that's because of the torch. And my bedroll is in too low condition to actually uh, do anything. So we actually spent like two matches in here when neither should be necessary, but we're just too cold. Yeah, we need to get to the trailer ASAP and we just need to sleep there. That is the only way to actually heal from this and recover health. My health is getting dangerously low and I'm not a fan of that. Okay, so we need to sleep here. We'll sleep four hours. So six is left, right? So let's do this. And I think that will be enough. We'll sleep six hours. That should do it. And we killed it. It's gone. That was an ordeal. We lost, even though. I took the medicine, we still lost 7% um, health because of that. I'm going to head back into the dam now and continue looting it. 
We are kind of burning through matches, which is not great. But what are you going to do? Oof. What brutality, eh? We're down to <laughs> one third of our health. Oof. Okay. Give me one second and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. Let's do this. Now before I continue, let's place a few things here that we don't need to carry around. We don't need to carry around this, that, this one. At least for now, anyway. I guess we can carry the other stuff. Still cold in here. <coughs> Alright, so the plan now is to take advantage of this weather, go outside, go to Winding River, and get the maple that's there. We definitely need to make a fire on the way. We got three coal. That's not great. Need to get some more coal. I could actually get some in the Pleasant Valley mines now that I think of it. It might be an idea to trek through the mines <coughs> and get the coal and then come back out. That is an option actually. Just for heat. Alright, let's see what we got in the lower down. Let's see. I think we might actually end up doing that. Let's see if we got some matches. We'll loot the rest of the lower dam later. Is there anything in there? Alright. Uh... Let's see. Another archery book. <laughs> this will come in handy. Oh, there we go. That's good. And it's in good condition too. That'll help. I should repair clothing. Ooh, food. Alright, so let's see. I think maybe it is an idea to go and get some coal from the cave. We'll come back here. I think it is probably worth it. Oh, the sun has gone. Let's quickly loot this. I think so because it's very cold at the moment. Let me see. Let's run actually because there might be a carcass and if possible I'd like to get to the carcass before I get cold. But then I can harvest it right away, rather than warming up. And was there a carcass there? I don't see a carcass actually. That's frustrating if that's the case. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. <coughs> no. No carcass. Normally I take this route down. Not sure about doing it today though because I might take full damage. So we're going to take the long way around. Let's see if I can grab a, a bunny. <laughs> this time. Usually there's a cattail or two here. I'm getting cold very fast. I need to try and get to this cave ASAP. Throw one quick rock here. Didn't think that was going to hit, but I mostly threw it just to try and get indoors ASAP. It'll be slightly warmer. 
There we are. Now I can warm up in here. <clears throat> and I can try again to get the rabbits. I'm actually actually warm in here. How about that? How much warmer though? Barely anything. Four matches left. That's really not good. Um Warmth is a big issue here. I think we need to warm up and get the T's going. And then we can do everything. We need to spend a match actually doing this. We might not use the coal though. Maybe I one would, piece of coal. No, is very cool. <laughs> Someone else followed. Shelly Pat. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I could turn that off, I suppose, while I record, but I forgot. No, thank you, anyway. To Shelly! Okay, so let's uh, warm up these teas. And I think we will Perfect. put one piece of coal. And I don't think there's anything to craft, is there? Yes, there is. We can make more teas. Oh, I'm starving. Yes, we know Astrid. We know. All right, let's uh, need this because it's heavy, as well as this. Uh, I could use it for warmth, though. Is the only thing, but that's all right. Uh, put that there. Put that there. Cook that. Half of this. All right. <clears throat> Let's loot this stuff. We could also go get the maple, actually. Seeing as it's not too cold, I would like to maybe get the rabbit, if I can. I'm usually quite good with rabbits, but on this difficulty, they are ridiculously hard. See, they, they run away, like, right away. Once they see you, they just flee. Chase them up here. I'm not going up here for the rabbit, mind you. Is he like stuck or something? No. He is kind of stuck. What is going on with this rabbit? Good. <clears throat> there's the maple that I want. And there's a lot of mushrooms as well. Accelerant, wood, maple syrup, which is better conditioned than the previous one. And let's quickly grab these mushrooms. Sticks. We need to get out of here because uh, killing a rabbit like that tracks wolves. And there's at least one wolf in this area. <clears throat> and we need to make sure we don't get <laughs> eaten by him, basically. I think we don't need to run anymore. Okay. Did the fire burn out? Did I forget? <laughs> I did. Oh. 
I forgot. This is a day of mistakes. That's alright though. Gonna leave this here for now. <laughs> so many silly mistakes today. I thought there was more on the um, on the fire left, so I didn't really think of it. Alright, so what I want to do now is, I want to head to the Pleasant Valley cave here. <clears throat> and I want to loot it. I'm pretty much just looting it because it has coal in it. And a few other things. I'm not going to go into Pleasant Valley. I could, I suppose. Hmm... An argument could be made, actually. Maybe we should do. While it's not too cold. Which is to go into Pleasant Valley and go to Signal Hill. Because in Signal Hill there's really great loot and I'm not far. I think maybe I might do that. Because if I go to Signal Hill and come back, it's very likely I'll come back with better clothing. So I might do that. Is that a cattail over there? It is. I don't know if I even ever walked this way before. This might be the route to Blackrock Mountain, probably. Yeah, let's do that. Let's head to Signal Hill to get some more gear. And I could also go to the farm to get matches. But the problem is if I say that, oh, we can go to the farm to get matches. Oh, well, while I'm there, I might as well go to the summit. Oh, might as well get the backpack. See, I mean, it just goes endlessly. But because I'm going through her anyway and Signal Hill is right outside, I think it's worth doing this, because also Signal Hill has arguably the best loot in the game outside of places like the summit. And this might be good to harvest too. But I think we'll harvest it when we come back. Not now. Let's light this up. Yeah, a piece of coal. Because we should get some better gear, or at least repair the what we have. Because the problem is that because we don't have much warmth, once we go inside to places it's still cold, which isn't great. There's all the coal. Now hopefully I don't have to make a fire to get to mm, to get to the single hill. I'm gonna drink this though. Just to warm up a bit faster. Before that gets cold. And I think I probably can make it to Signal Hill without starting a fire. And then we can sleep there. Okay, very often I find there's a wool toque to be found here, which would also be fantastic. Let's see. Nothing today. Shame. Let's also check in here, there might be some more coal. And there is. See, this is why this was worth it, because now I don't have to worry about it. Because as you're moving about in this challenge and you start getting cold, 
You need to either drink teas, which I keep forgetting to do, or start a fire. And when you start the fire, you need one coal to make sure you don't freeze, and another coal to warm up faster. So effectively, you're gonna have to use probably two pieces of coal every time you start a fire to just not get cold. Right, we have a lot of coal here. Let's see. <clears throat> Running out of lantern fuel as well. But that's fine. Let's put the coal here. We don't need to carry all this with us because we're going pretty much just up there. <clears throat> we'll put that up. And I put a note for myself in case we forget. Rabbit in river. Sapling um, cave entrance. And coal. PV cave entrance. In case I forget. Alright, there's probably going to be cold out. We might have to spend another match, but we'll see. If I'm lucky we don't have to. I think it's worth doing this. It's a small detail, but we get to uh, Signal Hill and it's quite likely that we can find some good clothing there. It's taking a while. Alright, it's not that cold. At least not sheltered. Oh, forgot to do this guy. <laughs> Alright, have some more berries for teas. We will probably sleep up there, so I could maybe sprint. Technically these aren't berries, I guess. Possibly have to make another fire. Since I messed up the previous ones. There's a deer carcass over here, which is usually always there. Okay, I don't know if I need to run, actually. And we got a birch sapling. This, this was another reason I wanted to do this. Because I was hoping we'd find one or two birch saplings while we're at it. There's one. You can also loot this. So there's usually always salty crackers in there. So we can check that out too. Oh, sounds like a wolf is coming. Did you hear that? There he is, yeah. He's chasing that rabbit. <laughs> he, got, he got caught on the tree. Look at that. Ah, he caught it. And <laughs> the tree bought the bunny some more time. Buys me some time also. I'm not gonna harvest this deer, at least not right now. Because <clears throat> I would like to get to Signal Hill. I might harvest it on the way back though. We're no longer benefiting from this. So now I'm colder, so now I think I would like to sprint. Oh, there's another wolf. A lot of wolves. How's this wolf looking? He hasn't detected me yet. I think I'm gonna run then. I think 
I think I can make it to a single hill. Can maybe grab a rabbit on the way. This will attract wolves, so we gotta go. Just gotta hope the bear isn't home. A lot of wolves around, but it's worth doing this. We're gonna get food, we're gonna get clothing, and we're gonna get coal. So pretty much everything we need is gonna get covered. If we're lucky, there'll be a sapling of some sort also. Don't see anything. Yeah. I can hear a carcass though. So after this has been looted, I can harvest this carcass. That's good to know, but I need to get inside. Alright. Let's try to not take any cold, ooh, cold, cold damage here. I can carry much more. And we are in. And you know what? Before I start looting this, I think this is a good end to this episode. We're ending here in Pleasant Valley. This, uh, this episode is, did not go well. Start out the right, I took two cold damage, and then I got food poisoning, and that lost me another 7%. And then in addition to all of that, I messed up with matches twice. So I, wa I pretty much wasted two matches. Although even though that match was wasted, it still heated up the drinks and allowed me to travel here without lighting another fire. So in a sense, it achieved its purpose. And I would have doused it at this point anyway. But there were a lot of mi minor mistakes made in this uh, episode. But, as always, we are still alive, and the run isn't over until it's over. The guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right And like now. I always say, the beginning of this run, even on a challenge like this, the health loss isn't that big a deal. Because once you can stabilize, and that meaning really getting the bow, then it becomes easier. And you can regenerate with stims, and then you can maintain it easier. So, I think I'll still be okay, but we are getting low. So, I'm going to end this episode here, and in the next episode, we'll loot this and head back to the dam and start looting. And hopefully, begin our journey to craft the bow. So, until then, I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.